All right, so here's the deal. Yeah, I have an early morning client that I have to wake up early for, right? A lot of you, you have jobs that you have to wake up early for. Do you think I felt like going into the gym? No. I actually did not feel like getting into the gym this evening. So, you know, you got to let go of that whole, well, I could be doing this, da 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 That is the death of your success. So you have to literally be stronger than your mind. That's why they call it a mindset. You have to reset your thought process. And if you don't, the whole foundation of your entire process is going to be messed up. So you have to get your mind right. And if you get your mind right, you're going to be able to dig deep into your exercises. You're going to be able to eat properly. Even if you have the right situation in place, it doesn't mean that you're going to win. No. Just because you have the right structure in place does not mean that you're going to win. The only way that you're truly going to win, the way that you can make your destination predictable is if you have everything up here right. You need to spend more time on yourself. You need to spend more time on soul searching. You need to spend more time reading more self-improvement books. You need to spend more time reading the Bible if you're a Christian. You need to spend more time with prayer and meditation. You need to spend more time with relaxing and yoga and Tai Chi. You need to spend more time on your inner being. And that thing is what's going to allow you to progress with your nutrition, with your strength training, with your movement, which is going to unlock different possibilities for you over and over and over and over again. Now, if you don't do these things, if you decide to just focus on your nutrition and your exercise, unfortunately, those things are not going to get you to the motherland, the land of milk and honey, the new Jerusalem. It's not going to happen. You have to be strong up here, right? And strong in here. You got to have what it takes. You got to have willpower, okay? And that will can only take you so far. I truly believe. I truly believe that you truly do need God in order to really, really smash this thing. But that's me. I'm a man of God. You may believe in something different. That's your business. I know for myself that it is incredibly difficult if I'm not prayed up, if I'm not in my Bible, if I'm not focusing on my self-improvement, if I'm not focusing beyond myself, in other words, all right? So that's just a little bit of wisdom for you. You take those keys and you do what you want with them because honestly, you can take anything that I say with a grain of salt or you don't have to take it at all. I'm just giving you my personal experience and the experience that I have with my own personal clientele load. Currently, I have 16 clients, all of which are warriors, man. These people want it, but it doesn't mean that they're always consistent. I have to hold them accountable, right? So it's a human type of a thing. Sorry, I got to turn my light off. Someone's coming. <laughs> but it's a human kind of a thing to, to go through, you know, that whole phase where you don't feel like doing something. Uh, that whole situation where you feel like, you know, doing other things or you're going to put a million things in front of the thing that you know you need to do in order to be successful, such as like cleaning your home or, um, you know, calling a friend and going out to eat or, uh, you know, going to the movies instead or going out shopping instead, anything instead of doing what you need to do. And sometimes that can be exercise, sometimes it can be nutrition, sometimes it can be your self-improvement activities that you have set yourself out to do. So here's what you do. You need to start journaling your process and setting up your day in the morning and stating on a piece of paper what the heck you're going to do and what you will not allow to come in the way of your success. Now, when you start doing that in the morning and in the PM, my clients uh, have that as a requirement of something that they have to do um, have an uh, AM thing that they have to do called getting ready to do battle in the mind. And then we have um, a PM uh, questionnaire that you have to uh, fill out and sign and save as well called preparing for tomorrow's huge success. You have to do things like this in order to keep your mind right. This is the point.
Because again, if it's not right up here, then no matter what you touch, it will not turn to gold. That's Coach J. I think I've talked enough. It's five minutes. We'll sign off for now. Peace.